This is the HTC People widget, uh, their version of contacts. You can see their notifications uh, when a contact has messages that are unread. Tap on one. Unfortunately, it does not bring up the appropriate uh, contact, so I'm not sure what's going on there. It's not of much use if you tap on something and you don't get the contact you're looking for. In any case, you can always get to the full list. Uh, there's Facebook and Twitter integration. No search ability, but if you grab this tab, you can skip ahead to the particular letter you're looking for. In this case, you can see um, some Facebook and uh, Twitter status messages. I'm going to tap through to um, Russ Jeffries' gallery so you can see some of his Facebook pictures and things like that. And there's a lovely photo of Russ. Pull up uh, one of the other contacts just so you can see what the uh, viewer looks like. Um, say count three here. Well sorted information. Uh, you can link multiple contacts so if you have a Twitter contact for somebody as well as Facebook and um, Gmail, all those things, you can link them together and this system will intelligently offer to do so for you. It's also group support. and the favorites are the ones that show up in the home screen widget itself. This is HTC Watch and what you see on the screen right now is all that I've been able to get out of the system so far. Uh, it's not functioned for me on any attempt and I've, I've tried it numerous times. It's supposed to be a video service where you can get HD quality movies and everything like that um, for rent or buying and um, you can watch them right here on the tablet but as you can see I've not had any success with it. Similarly, I've not had much luck with HTC Hub either, and I imagine the two things are linked. You can see I'm going to try to uh, sign up for a new account, and it says I uh, can't tell where I am. Um, I can't tell you either if you can't see it. So I've not had any success whatsoever with that as well. Take a look at the rest of the main menu. So you've got the Amazon MP3 store, calendar, shortcuts to camcorder, and camera docking station mode, the Facebook applications, uh, music app, news, Polaris Office is that nice um, Excel and uh, Word doc reader you saw earlier. Soundtown is pre-installed. And notice that the uh, home screen moves in full pages. Makes it a little bit easier to scan what you're looking for. You don't have to refind your place each time. One of the really cool features with the HTC Flyer is its pen support, and this is the Scribe pen. It can be used to do all sorts of things. It works on uh, specific buttons here. You notice my finger does not activate that button, but the pen itself does. And I can do a couple different things. I can pull up the notebook. I can you know, type in things if I wish. I can also just draw. And there's support for a bunch of different pen types and you can have different sizes, different colors. Let's see, I'll pick a finer point and a uh, blue color. You can see it all works very well. Two buttons on the system. Uh, the top button up here acts as an eraser. So you can erase things. And the bottom one is used for selecting text inside uh, other documents. Now one of the things people complain about is that you have these other buttons up top. For example, you can record notes and um, show while you're recording your notes and you can be writing and jotting down things and then they can play back in sync later, which is pretty cool. But these buttons up here don't respond to the pen. You have to use your finger and um, some people don't seem to like that. It doesn't bother me too much, but I can understand where they're coming from. You know, if you're doing this and then having to switch to a finger to do this and then switch back and forth and, you know, pen doesn't work on the home button and that kind of stuff. It can get a little bit confusing, but I imagine people are going to adapt to it pretty quickly. Now, if I just stop the recording here, hopefully I can play it back. While you're recording your notes, you can be writing and jotting down things that they can play back and sync later, which is pretty cool. But these buttons up here, so it's pretty neat. You can attach uh, photos and other, other things like that. It can, has support for integrating into the calendar as well. When you're all done, you can save it, and this is automatically going to sync up to my Evernote account, which is pretty cool. 
The other cool feature for the pen is the ability to annotate anything that's on the screen. So basically it takes a screenshot and then you can draw as you wish. And you tap down here, you can change the uh, different aspects of the marker that you're using, you know, highlight or different pen types. And I'll change the size, make it a little bit larger. And then you can see I can do something like that. That's in black. Let's change the color, make it yellow. And I can say, didn't work. And then send that off to HTC support or something like that. Really cool. Then I just save it. And it's automatically added into a note. And again, I can just save the note and it'll be in Evernote in a matter of uh, minutes. And of course, as a regular note, you can still add more things to it right down here. Another thing, when you have the pen, which isn't included, by the way, it costs $80 um, in the U.S. version. It does appear to be included in most of the uh, European and Asian versions of the flyer, though. In any event, you can just start writing on the screen, and it automatically will pull up that note-taking um, annotation facility. So you don't actually have to go through the menu and select it, which is kind of cool. Snap Booth is a fun little application. It uses the forward-facing... Uh, 1.3 megapixel camera. I'm going to see if I can demonstrate this here by tilting it. Uh, the viewing angle won't be the best for you people, but it should be passable. You can pick some different effects and, um, you know, bulge, pucker, mirror, and then there's uh, cool things like, you know, dots version and stuff like that. You can have it set to uh, record four shots or one shot at a time. So let's go to um, mirror mode and I'll start taking pictures there you have the uh, 2 by 2 system showing the uh, pictures Let's see what the image looks like some older ones I took with my, my son very unattractive photos indeed. <laughs> it also has a nice uh, vintage look as well. Really cool application and everything is of course accessible then inside the gallery. You can see um, scribbles while we're here, random notes I took, and then there's the uh, snap booth images as well. So here's a quick look at the music player. You sort your music by uh, artist, by album, playlists, and things like that as well as well as by songs. See we've got album art. And it works in both uh, portrait and landscape mode of course. It's also a widget. the music player. You can select a number of them, different sizes. I'll pick the uh, full screen one just because it looks the best. Really cool options here. You can see everything going on. You have the controls, shows recently played music as well. Very nice widget system. There are plenty of other apps installed on the device. Uh, it's built in Peep Twitter client. Uh, the stock tw um, official Twitter client also is there. Google Talk, um, your notebook, Google Maps, locations, places, uh, PDF viewers, a lot of good stuff in here. And as I mentioned before, you always can find the ones that you've installed yourself right here. I'm going to show you the camera application here. There's no uh, hardware shutter button for activating it, but Whenever you move and recompose, it automatically focuses. You just tap the button to take the photo. Images look pretty good. You can swap to the forward-facing camera so you can see my lovely mug right there sitting over the video camera. You can also switch back and forth and shoot video. It records 720p HD video. You can see right there it says uh, 720p. And I'll shoot a quick video. And there it is. 
does not seem to hold uh, focus pretty well. Uh, I'm not sure if it's auto-focusing at all when it's doing video. And we can play it back as well. So that's my quick look at the HTC Flyer, an Android gingerbread powered 7 inch tablet. It's a lot of cool features, a uh, little concerned with build quality, a lot of problems people are having with this upper cover including the hairline fracture in it already. But a really nice form factor and HTC's done a fantastic job of uh, turning gingerbread into a tablet friendly system. There is going to be a honeycomb update in the not too distant future though, so we look forward to seeing that. Great pen functionality if you get the optional uh, $80 pen or if you're buying in uh, Europe or Asia where it's included. Very cool integration with uh, Evernote and a lot of other functionality. You can see you know, ebooks as well. Cool apps all around. Uh, just really nice experience. And again, that's the HTC Flyer. I'm Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com.